Hello everyone, so today I have this article from Pocket Now, which isn't too surprising since I like to make our uh, videos from articles uh, that come from Pocket Now. And yes, there are some rumors here. Uh, well, actually, it's not rumors because uh, Samsung have now been inviting some companies to their uh, event, uh, which is going to be in the beginning of May. Uh, so it's going to be like two or three weeks from now which means we will probably see the Galaxy S3 being launched which is great um, they told us that we will see the next Galaxy uh, yeah they didn't say much more than that but it's pretty obvious that it's going to be the Galaxy S3 or if they would m make a new Galaxy series, I don't know. Maybe it uh, won't stick with the S, but I'm pretty sure they will since they got the S2. And uh, yeah, there are some rumored specs on this phone. It's going to be maybe 1080, 1080p display, maybe 800, 800p like the Galaxy Note, or 720p like uh, other high-end smartphones that come out right now uh, but it would seem like the 720p won't be enough to make it for the smartphone of the year this year uh, and I think that Samsung is going to try to make uh, the smartphone of the year again since they made it with the S2 uh, so I'm guessing that it will be 800p or more so uh, yeah you know it's not impossible that it could be 1080p uh, but yeah 1080p it sounds maybe too much but maybe it could be somewhere between 800p and 1080p maybe 900 900 something I don't know but uh, yeah that is uh, to be seen next uh, month and uh, there's also going to be probably <laughs> well this is like 99% certain and uh, it's going to be quad core quad core and Samsung is going to have their uh, special Exynos uh, processor which is going to be built on the A15 I think uh, like HTC's uh, Snapdragon processor and uh, yeah you know that is some really nice stuff uh, if you haven't seen the 1s uh, it's aston astonishing uh, fast I mean it's just awesome I mean it's a dual core which performs as good as the Tegra 3 quad core processor which is like insane insane with a Z and uh, yeah you know, it could come with 16 gigabyte, 32, 64. Who knows? Um, I think that 30, 32 gigabytes uh, of storage, and um, and that you can expand with a micro SD card would be great. Um, yeah, I currently use my Galaxy Note, and I think it has like 16 gigabyte of storage without a micro use. A micro SD card and I know it's it's very good but uh, if you want to watch a lot of movies and stuff you need 32 gigabytes and more and uh, yeah but uh, yeah this is some really nice stuff and um, we can look forward to this so yeah that's pretty much all for this video bye